Uh, well, if you look around, there's a few bits and pieces where it's um, used to be, well, it is an art gallery, we rented it off the art yeah. gallery owner, but it's got a curious history and it's, um, uh, before he had the building, it was an SP bookie. So when, he told, no when I told him what we were doing, he was laughing his head off because there's like 16, 20 telephone lines coming out of the building. And it is awesome. We're about a one iron from uh, Victoria Park Race Course. And we, yeah. um, we had, I think, uh, one of our first Christmas parties was at the, was at the Twilight Christmas Races. Oh, that's so appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit loose, it got late early. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's, it's good. We've got um, our team in here. We've got sort of four full-timers in Punk Club plus an, an agency works here. So We've got developers and coders and designers and stuff when we need them, and uh, yeah. it's great fun. It's close to town. It used to be a restaurant next door, but it's closed at the minute. Oh, how's that? Oh, that's we've a spent, shame. We've spent, we've spent a few it's such a great lunches, location it? here as well. It's it's easy to get to. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I live about four minutes away, so the commute's not that's too bad. That's even better. <laughs> so, can you tell me a little bit more about Punk Club itself? Sure. Um, Probably origins in footy club and footy trip land. So okay. every footy club I've ever played for had a punters club that used, we used to save up to pay for the a trip. It yeah. would put in 20 bucks a week, so it's about half back half, but at the end of it you'd be able to pot of cash or untraceable funds that, uh, <laughs> that uh, would um, you'd be used to spend on your footy trip. So yep. we did that a few times and it was always a, a, a shit part of um, spreadsheets and bank accounts and chasing blokes for money. And, or being chased for money if I wasn't organising it. So uh, <laughs> we did a one year, we went for two or three years in a row and ended up at the West Indies for the World Cup, it was our footy oh, trip. Oh, that would have been so good. After the by then, but um, <laughs> in 2007. So yeah, we thought, well, that was great fun. We would have spent a couple of hundred grand as a group. And I thought- well, How many were in the group? 20. And it was a bit of international trips, we were yeah. about 10 grand ahead. And, and you know, it was, it, was, it was great in the sense that um, we wouldn't have done it had it not been for the punters club, club yeah. but it was a nightmare to run. So I just thought if we put together uh, some software, because by the time I came home, I, I owned a software business. But if we could design the software, a bit like footytips.com, but for punters clubs, it would let lots yeah. of other people uh, save up for their to life experiences. Do almost the same as yeah. what you were doing. To, whether it's a trip or buy a horse or yeah. buy a dog or a prop. You know, what, what, what yeah. do you want to do? New pair of shoes or something? No, no I want to buy shoes. <laughs> Done. I'm out there. Find new, new pair of thongs. That's about it. Yeah. So, can you tell me how simple it is it to actually open up my own punk club account? Yeah, so we've just got a website, punkclub.com. People go there and hit the start button and they just define how much they're going to chip in, um, how often, and, and how many people they want to have betting each week. They just jump on there, from, whether it's from their phone or the, or the computer, and just invite their mates. And they all get invitations. It takes the money automatically when they put their credit card in each week. So whether, whether you're doing it weekly so or monthly. So there's no chasing money? It's all automatic. And then as soon as somebody, if it's their turn to bet, they go to put a bet on with our partners, Labrokes. It's all fully integrated. You don't have to do anything else other than click the button to have a bet. And oh, uh, as soon as the bet goes on, it automatically notifies everybody else in the punters club what we're on. And then yeah. it'll tell you, when it's about to jump, and then it'll tell you whether it won or lost after the fact. So, oh, okay. And it keeps a little leaderboard of who's yep. good, who's shit, oh, right. or who's yep. good or who's shit that week. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. And the administration assistance that the app has, what does it give the members? Well, it certainly um, gives them a full running statement of everything yeah. going in and out financially. Um, it gives them, obviously, a, a record so for of... somebody like me who's not very tech savvy, I should be able to follow it? Yeah, follow the bouncing ball. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's, if you can run a footy tip, a big in a footy tips comp, you get a promoted, you get a notification when it's your turn to have a whether it's tipping or in this case punting. Yeah. And it'll say your turn to punt. You press the button, it logs you in, and you just select. Does it come with a reminder? Because I still always forget those things. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> when it says you've got 12 hours left in your week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you and it gives me that countdown. <laughs> yeah, you, you're going to be hated if you put something on the Dapdo dogs at midnight when it's everyone else's money. So. Um, I think they closed down Dapdo. They're closing down Dapdo. Oh really? It's an outrage. Oh, no. I know. There's Might have to put a petition together for them. Yeah, <laughs> but if you run out of time, you can always go to Perth and bet on Pikey and hopefully that pans out for you. Oh, well, I might have to give this a go. Yeah. I don't know yet. Yeah, no, it's, it's, <laughs> we've actually got, um, it's, it started out as a pretty pluggy thing, but we've, we've had a massive influx of, of women-only punters oh, really? clubs. Really? Yeah. Oh, now. We're now doing girls' trips instead girls of trips? boys' trips or footy trips. And, uh, and as we've long got, as there's still lots of beer on the girls' trip, I mean. Yeah, we've got girls buying horses and all sorts of stuff. Oh, so that's it's, brilliant. It's, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> So now, Punk Club obviously partners with the licensed bookmaker. Yeah. Um, how does that part of the app work? So it's, it's pretty seamless. You, you, literally, if it's your turn to bet, you hit bet now. Okay. Um, it'll give you the choice of whether you want to have your bet on your own or if it's your turn to bet for the club, that'll give you that option too. As soon as you hit 
bet it'll just automatically log you in to Labbrokes. And you'll, if you've ever used Labbrokes, you'll know exactly how to use it because it's, it's the same website and, um, uh, or app. And you can just choose the bet that you want to put on. As soon as you complete the bet, it'll uh, record back to our table or our database what bet you've made and it'll notify everybody in your punters club what you've done. So you don't have to, you don't have to tell anybody anything. Don't, I don't even have to like try and make all those harebrained decisions or anything. Well, you should, definitely make, a, you should definitely make a decision. Most of it's done for me. You should definitely make the decision about what you're going to back. <laughs> but all, all of the that's other what, little in-betweens I don't have to worry too no, much about. No, all that's, the different that's, odds and stuff. Don't have to remember a lot of your little bastard. Nothing. Oh, I, I'm loving this even more. <laughs> And, uh, but, the, but where the banter kicks in with your friends is when you back something either ludicrous that they think is a waste of money or if you've, uh, or if you've jagged a winner at long odds, um, everyone gets pretty vocal and encouraging and uh, you, know, yeah. you, see, you see the tally sort of just cre creep up over time. Yeah, the kitty. yeah it's talking up. Yeah. Awesome. So can members of Pump Club communicate each, with each other then through the app? You were just saying yeah. you can cheer each other on or boo each other? Yeah, you've got so, push notifications through the app, there's okay. emails that get fired off automatically. Yeah. If you've got people that are particularly tech savvy, you can choose to have SMS messages as well that yeah. fly around and let people know what you're backing or what you're not. So, so if I was to back one and it lost, everybody could then, you know, send me a sad face or something. Yeah, <laughs> you can put give, gifts, gifts <laughs> in there, you know, the, the popcorn gifts. And the, yeah. And, Kramer with the giddy up horse racing oh, gift that's always wonderful. a favorite so. I love that I love it so much <laughs> <laughs> well I think I'm definitely going to have to uh, invest in this app and sit down and work out how to do yeah. it it's easy to, I mean, it's free so yeah. we don't charge anything to use the app and it's um, there's no contracts or anything you literally really? start a club run it for spring clock out and put it to sleep for Christmas if you want to uh, really? start it again in the footy season yeah. so yeah. yeah oh that's so good yeah I think we've got lots of people that intended to Start and stop that have been with us for you know, four they years. They just keep rolling, yeah. just keeps going. Yeah. Well, one group has I think been to five Cox plates through our system yeah. so every year. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, and it seems like more and more people I have little conversations with, but more people seem to be getting involved with the punk club now. Yeah, we've got um, some pretty good support from around Australia. So we've got people all over the country. Shout out to the Definitely Ready group, the Cox plate group that I mentioned. <laughs> um, they got some particular um, fame by being photographed by TAB. And then reported in Racenet the other week for oh, having no. a gold jacket with Australia's worst punter on the back. So <laughs> the, the person that comes last at the punters right. club gets to typically oh. carry the drinks or wear okay. something foolish right. for the weekend. That would but probably be my jacket then. It's done. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, no. So we've got you know thousands of members around the country, and we're just looking at opportunities in the US and UK now. And so it's I'm just going to keep growing and spreading its wings. Yeah, hopefully. Well, we don't know what America might be like. It might, well, it might be shit over there. But you they never might... know. Hey, you're not going to know until you give it a go though, right? Correct, correct. <laughs> I'm off there next week to the a global racing symposium to, okay. to talk about um, Australian betting habits. Where punters oh, clubs are one of those. So. Right, not going to include some of the banter though between, uh, yeah. <laughs> between the clients. Yeah, yeah no, we, I think we, we put up some of the banter on the screen last time I went there. Oh, and, uh, no. and everyone thought that was well, got reported in the press over there as like something out of Boy's Own Annual. I don't know what that is, but that sounds like some sort of <laughs> some TV. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it sounds a little bit manly over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, thank and you. I absolutely love this um, place. This is awesome. Thanks. So, yeah, that's all right. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm.